Hello and welcome back to the bottom. My name is Beast and I'm back with uh, Sabra the Witch. Hello. I'm... Hello. Am I supposed to... No, I probably don't need to. Uh, he, he was in Do the I? madness that was that one Sako Sako part. Yeah, my biggest regret, I don't know why I'm doing it again. Jo John, next line. D d don't remind me. <laughs> oh no, I missed something, obviously. Yeah, you missed something. It's the... It's, it's the it, 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 we did another stretching 40 minutes to two hours. <laughs> Just this time with Saku Saku instead of... Sap, uh, instead of... Uh, Ditsy Demons. Oh, Ditsy Demons. And it wasn't about uh, it wasn't the, about the, the, accurate, the angels. accurate angels, which is impressive because we were only three people when we did it to the to demons. But it took like how many people to do it in Saku Saku? I think seven. <laughs> well, it kept changing, so we can't. Do we count the ones who left or all... the power of big biblically accurate angels? Hmm. Well, the thing is, you needed to stretch like 40 minutes of content in a bit longer. So in that regard, it was a good thing. I didn't actually I need to stretch like it at all. I would have just ended it there any uh, once we reached that point anyway. <laughs> oh. We, we uh, need to match up to that, Boss Wars parts anyway. <laughs> in that case, I really regret having to... Like, yeah, I was put in the spot there, but I don't think anyone here would do that to me, right? Um, Here's the thing. You kinda at occasionally put yourself on the spot. Yeah, but no one would kind of, you know, right? I wouldn't like actively provoke you to put yourself on the spot, don't worry. Alright, good. Let, next line. Uh, fuck. Unintentionally, um, though, I'm an idiot, <laughs> so I'm uh, uh, apologize in advance. Unintentionally? Unintentionally, yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> I'm a massive norn if you haven't gathered, so yeah. <laughs> I forgot to cut my fingernails! Mm. Oh no. Yeah, my finger my fingernails grow way too fast so I Same to here, like I have fucking claws over here. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I could probably I, I mean it helps me poke eyes out, you know? <laughs> yeah. Aside my from first, personal really? grooming audience, yes, we're all okay. <laughs> I I comb my beard no, every day. After, it's not, uh, not that every I day after a heavy shower. Grooming. It's just that my hair and my nails they grow way too fast, uh, more yeah, than it's, normal. It's my hair right now. I need to. <laughs> I need now, to don't do so you do. did say that you uh, you have a good a bit of a problem with the beard hair. You're th <laughs> well, no, you're thinking of my brother. Well, the thing is. You know what, let's go. I feel like I'm going to turn this longer if I continue. We're, we're going to have a biblically accurate angels moment again, aren't we? But this time about beards. Which is also a lot re <laughs> re represented a lot in the Bible. So yeah, there's that. Sadly, yeah. however, I'm not Samson. So I'm not all-powerful as long as I have my fucking beard. <laughs> Be wary of girls called Delilah. That's all I ask. Maybe you can split the ocean in half. That's Moses! Yeah. Oh, well. What do you mean it's a bit muddy? <laughs> anyway, carrying on. ありがとうございました。それじゃあこれでみんなにも話を聞いてみます。あの、1年生でも会長になれるんですか？なれるよ。現職の2年生の立候補はあくまで慣例で多くはないけど。一年生会長の前例もいくつかあるから。もしかして稲葉さん興味ある？興味あるなら私は教えてあげるよ。手取り足取り腰取り、いろいろね。She's <笑> a walking RIT uh, existence. <laughs> Just like Meguro is in distress over there. <laughs> I noticed. Like, let me just alarm. Just, let me just re let me just remind you. She's my fa uh, the voice actor of uh, Torkoal. Voice my favorite uh, character or favorite wife, who favorite girl in Dracula Riot, uh, which is Elena. Mm. So 
I, I would not have guessed that her voice actress that, that her voice actress is Eleanor's. I was actually looking forward to hearing it, Eleanor again, but um I did not I'm not into the this particular type of archetype. So You're was, not into the Ara Ara One Sons? Yes, I'm not into that. However, you I are I regret so... saying that immediately, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I was avoiding it for a purpose. Uh, hold on. I have the bounty for a reason! Hang on a minute. Ah! There we go. Okay. I um, regret that immediately. I should not have done that, even as a joke. Mm. Ow. Let's, let, let's, uh... My back. Self-flagellation, really like... everybody! I really like the voice actor uh, uh, the, when she played... I really like the voice actor when she played Eleanor. But, uh... Mm -hmm. Because she, the way she did it was very, especially the. Am I allowed to talk about those scenes? I would advise against them. All right, then let's let's go ahead. Mm. And let's let's be honest, like like you say, she's a walking R eighteen. Eleanor. Okay. Look, <laughs> that's, all, that's all I can the say. The whole bloody game is R eighteen. <laughs> At Look, times, um, Alina may be a walking orator, but she has a reason to to be one. She, um, spoiler to anyone who hasn't played the game. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there since Eagle hasn't played it. Fuck. All right. Uh, <laughs> fuck. I said. Oh. Um... <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, both John and Beast have played most of these games. Indeed, John's played virtually everything. So today, I am once again the one playing Blind Man's Buff. Like if you're ever in the dis, uh, if you're ever in okay, the Discord on. server and you need to ask anything about any kind of VN, just ping the unpingable. John is the visual novel god here. Okay, you made that. That would make no sense to know to anyone who doesn't know the unpingable rule. Exactly. So, you know. <laughs> okay. The confusion of the viewers the are hour. the best part. You have to summon in mean... at the witching hour. Ever since I changed my name into literally nothing, I changed my username into something you can type in English, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. currently you can ping me. Anyway, let's uh, move on. Yeah, just yeah. being well is... played if you have any kind of questions. Some... <laughs> oh, currently it's that. But anyway, in summary, Tokyo is, uh, oh, rather, Elena is... Did you just say Tokyo? In a sense. <laughs> well, yes, I did. Here's the thing, I can't blame you, because like I, like I said, I'm re-watching Hoshio Yumimira right now, and I did say Tokyo instead of Toko in one of the Toko route parts. That's why one of the Toko route parts is called Goodbye Tokyo. <laughs> no, I said Toko because, like, in my mind, they both have the same voice actor, they sound the same. You may not see it, but I see it. Um, uh, what I'm trying to say is, Elena has a reason to be such a way, while for Toko, it's mainly uh, her appeal, I would say. Alright. It's got nothing to do with her being just a tiny bit of a knob. I feel like it's just like, ah yes, she's just a massive tease, and that's like, <coughs> payoff in the end. Well, yeah, but for Elena, there's literally a reason why she is like that. And that I actually forget has to do that, with forgot about that. <laughs> Um, ha okay, I'll just type it into your DMs. Yeah, thanks for a reminder. Anyways, let's keep moving. <laughs> Someone else also DM'd me. <laughs> <laughs> Popular today. Yeah. He gets all the girls in school. I mean, hell, I can probably look over. Yep, I also have a message here. <laughs> what about here? Nah, there's none here. Probably don't need to wait for you to like actually watch the stream again since you probably know what they're saying anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. I first of all, I'm still on stream, I'm using more than one device and yeah, I can I can understand it based on what they're saying. Oops. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. I remember now. I remember now. So... Yeah, even with the story. 
実務に関しては周りのサポートもあるから安心してわかりましたそう言っておきますねだから転入したばっかりでもやる気さえあれば大歓迎だよえっ、ー、と考えておきますうんよろしくねじゃあ私は力不足で申し訳ないんだけど。And yes, John, that is true for a lot of people. To bad her route sucks. I know, but best go and best route don't necessarily mean the same thing. In the yeah,、DM、but that's that, that's at this point the running gag. Just like、uh, also, too bad her route sucks. Also, I whispered that and you heard me. All right. Did, did, I, I, I believe Eagle probably heard it as well. Really? I, I don't think I. Well, if I did, I forgot it already. I was, I was already noshing on cookies, so、Hold、I drowned it out. How did you not hear it, but I heard it while I was <laughs> taking off my headphones? Because I wasn't、okay. paying attention. You have superhuman hearing skills, I don't know. Actually, my hearing kind of、yeah. sucks occasionally. <laughs> I didn't then,、um, obviously. I, not only am I whispering it, you're also mentioning that I, my audio is weaker than. You know, it's really weak. So if you manage to hear that, I turned it up at this point. Still, I say I turned it up. It's more that I lowered everyone else's volume to remedy it. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. The video audio is still okay, so that's fine. Technically,、uh, I sure hope so. Yeah, let's do it again. Like I went out of my way to test it earlier, so yeah. Without she's replied to Aku, she leaves the club room, somewhat looking, somewhat relieved. Honestly, I kind of doubt it. I mean, anyone interested in this kind of thing would likely already be going for it. The actual last year was pretty dang bland too. There weren't any sensational campaign speeches at the school gate like you see in anime. Whoops. I'm guessing there's just something our school doesn't care much about. I'm sure there are a few students out there who'd be up for it, but it'll be pretty difficult to find them. Don't worry about it. I doubt any of us,、uh, any of us will be able to do much. Fuck, whoops. Sorry, Megaru. How dare you? In my opinion, Megaru's route was the best one. I haven't seen it yet, so it remains to be seen. Here's the thing it's very hard for me to rate the routes. The Megaru's route was really fucking good, though. It's my personal, in my personal opinion, it's the best. And it's also my favorite, but、uh, then this route comes really close. It looks like it might. Like for me, it's、really、Nene at the top, and then Toko, and then very close to Toko Meguru. Are you talking about route or、route. go? Route. Okay. When it's girl, it's actually a lot closer. Like with,、right. with girl, it's it was only girl. I think, like, Megura actually, like, even kind of overtakes Soko a little bit. And yet, you kind of trade it for Toko. I just put away the fucking gun. I would. I'm gonna,、uh, grab, the, I'm gonna grab the Kirby instead. Okay. You bring it either、Kirby. one. You bring either one and、uh, into a department store, and you might get stopped. <laughs> yeah, I ask around. Put、like、the、bro. Kirby down. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I decided to put the Doctor Kirby on top of my head, and now I'm balancing. Fuck, he dropped. No, 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 I mean one will be because you are a potential threat, and the other one is because you're crazy and you're a potential threat. Yeah. Okay. It's a plush <laughs> one Kirby. One is your potential. The one of them you're car- is a potential threat. The other is you're just carrying a rifle around with you. 
Uh, the other is probably normal in America. Uh, am I allowed to make that joke? Yes. The other is probably normal in America. Yeah, true. Like, you gotta remember, Bud is usually one of the co-hosts here. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> am I allowed to admit because I'm not American? <laughs> He's allowed to. It's kind of like <laughs> people who are can make those jokes. The satire really... it may be a bit unreal after a while. <laughs> oh well, we can always here's, give it a whirl. Here's the thing. Do I look like a Jew? Um, yes. <laughs> With a beard and all. I was trying to go for a joke here, but I didn't expect you to actually be like, yes. I mean, look, like, you do joke, look like I'm German and make Jew jokes occasionally. We're still doing better than some members of ZF Clan, that's all I can say. I'm gonna mute okay. myself real quick because I'm gonna tell a joke and I don't want the people to actually hear it, but y'all can hear it. Uh... Alright, sure. I don't know how many. Oh god, oh. wow. Um, that is that's terrific. A... <laughs> no, I did. I honestly did not expect that though. I wouldn't call that a dad joke, I would call that... It's actually... Demeaning? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's rather funny, I would put... I would put it in the funny, but I wouldn't laugh because it's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank good the people didn't actually hear it, so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I, like... like, I went out of my way to mute myself for that. No, you should have muted us as well, maybe. No, your reactions were important for the people to realize what the fuck I just said. People who can read lips are gonna still know what I said, though. Uh, Alright, that's an advanced skill. Let's go. Yeah, hell, that's ground like a pro! <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't planning to read it like that, but I guess that's what you... what. Hoshina just lo sounds like when he's overly motivated. So, like, th this was still one of my favorite soundtracks. Oh, uh, yeah, I like it. Too. Yeah. Saxophone coming in. Yeah, I figured. More people didn't like off on this route, as per usual for the short. Yep, yeah, here's the thing. I actually kinda liked walking us around more than Tsumugi, so <laughs> I also like walking us around more than Tsumugi's because uh, the problem is people tend to dislike automatically the short bonus rounds, but some of them are not that bad. Like Wakuma did pull some actual ba bullshit in her route, but it's still it's still good. Yeah. Uh, it's it's the matter of uh, people not probably brave not man. Sorry. Oh no, I just just felt the need to say that suddenly. <laughs> like I just uh, want to apologize here. Yeah. I, I thought you were stopping me. Um. Anyway, I I, 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 honest, I honestly God, I was too like busy holding back the brave man to actually hear what you're saying. <laughs> like, I'm, just, like, I said, I look for. Go on. No, you go on. I said I look forward to the day campus works are translated because when uh, campus is, makes the you know the visual novel short visual novels are like, mm -hmm. uh, then maybe people will grow more appreciation to really short uh, rounds or BNs or you, you know they specialize on that particularly. They almost do it exclusively, actually. Now that I think about it. Anyway, uh, so I don't know why you would ask this guy. Probably Matt, the worst idea. Yeah. You just go ask this guy, and it's desperation. I would. I would never ask Kaido. Kaido was a mistake. To would like he would be not a good student council president. You, you need to finish that line, otherwise that's kind of insulting. <laughs> You're a mistake. Oh. Well, I mean, he isn't a bad choice if he fixes himself 
in a way. But like he is a he is a good lad. He is not a good president, though. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like he is the man. Honestly, honestly, the uh, most fitting one would still be. Uh, who who do you think would be most fitting, in your opinion? For a student council president. Yes, uh, from the current roster of characters we know. Hmm, tough question actually. What in the what game about so you, far? Eagle? In the game so far, yeah. Um. Ooh. We're not counting the cameos in the background because yes, they are from the previous oh, games, but they're not officially characters yet. I was about to say we can't have uh, Maya in. Damn it. Okay. Uh, she'd rule them all with an iron fist. Um, True. I mean, she w she does have the Yakuza's backing. All right. That's fine. true. If we, if if it makes it a bit easier for you, let's try to think about conditions. What makes a good student council president? I oh, fucking know. Charisma, obviously, you need a lot of charisma. Mm -hmm. You also need the ability to take responsibilities and lead people well. So, who of the characters, aside from Talk, has those particular features? The only one I could think was would be Nina, I guess. Yeah, yeah I but she's Nene. extremely shy. Yeah, the, like oh, that. Yeah, she's extremely shy, but she's also the most fitting one. <laughs> Not to help by the fact that she may get an abrupt in the middle of a speech. She may get an abrupt attack of horny on, on the middle of the stage. Quick, hide the I microphone. Mean, <laughs> I mean, don't we all? <clears throat> uh, uh, you you lot own... speak for yourselves. <laughs> Look, um. The only problem she has when she's having a speech is that she's probably using the wrong microphone. Microphone for the wrong mouth, so yeah, that'll be a problem. No. <laughs> Sorry, dirty joke. Let's move on. <laughs> like, or even he's like, hold on, are, are you sure? How about you think I... about this again? <laughs> I thought you liked pain. No, absolutely not. <laughs> And that's everyone. Yeah, that's everyone that you know in the game that has a sprite. Yeah, that's everyone. There's so few people <laughs> I can ask, it's actually sad. Now I need to look at this positively. Let's be thankful for the fact that I have these two friends at all. I decide if I'm gonna be like this. Who would be up for running, would have already signed up. <laughs> Yeah, I wish my that. class. Huh? Sorry. No, no, go ahead. No, no, you I go I was going to say, I, I wish my class had a poster like that. Just posted right beside, the, you know, the board. So yeah, I, I was about to ask, why is there a pin up again? Oh, yeah, I think I asked this in the previous part. Why is there a pin up there? Uh, it's a reference to the previous game, but that's not the that's oh. point. I would. I would enjoy class. I just stand. Yeah, that is a little aisle knots, isn't it? Mm hmm. I recognize the uniform now. Thinking about it, which is impressive on your port. I have seen the opening for it as well, and I'm looking forward to it since it has a dark elf. And dark elves are nice. I mean, you keep uh, saying that your memory isn't that good, and yet you remember that. So that's Here's impressive. the thing, I, my memory is shit. However, I can remember the weirdest things. So when it comes to waifus, you remember. Oh, it's like, that's really it's like important. I, I have a lot of trouble, like, memorizing things. Like, memorizing information. Like, concrete information. Mm -hmm. But I can pick, like, pick up the weirdest details. Yeah, and it's caused me pain in a few scenarios. Oh. Let's move on. You go ahead and read it. I don't remember any of those scenarios right now. Not at the moment, no. The basically scenarios were put they you put me in the spot. But let's go. I don't remember any of that. 
literally just last recording. Huh? Literally last recording I joined. Oh, with the anyway. party thing? Yes. Okay. Pressing on, perhaps? Yes. <laughs> ah, tell me about it, I wouldn't ever want to be a president myself. I could do it without that much stress. I stand out quite a bit, which means being exposed to a lot of emotions. And for me, there is nothing worse than that. Did you know that the student council has been handing out flyers lately? あ、あれってそういうチラシだったんだ。カイドはもらってないの？チラシとかポケットティッシュとかもらわないクセがついちゃってるからさ。ペ、あ、俺に聞いてない。Main all I can think about after he mentioned that is just all the times the arcs I just ran past those motherfuckers because they just annoy me. <laughs> like you do in real life. Uh-huh. I can't some tissues. I, mean, I, just, I fucking need it. I have tissues on me. Yeah, I'm not... I've got an idea. If you want to no, make oh. them run away, blow your nose on them and throw the used tissue back at them. Uh, you might get arrested. Yeah, probably in this day and age. Just, like, stick it down your pants and pull it back out and hand it back. <laughs> You will still <laughs> thanks, get was, yeah, thanks for that, that was really useful. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, I knew I didn't wipe right off properly. <laughs> oh, um, I regret okay. that immediately. <laughs> what is wrong yeah. with you? Uh, that, that came into my imagination. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I regret being able to... <sighs> Okay, let's change image by continu continuing. Yeah, pressing on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so that's all. That tiny cockney must see on a cotonara. She does, she's not putting to the same skinny cobra. Ma, so not that get on it. So, not she, she, what can I tell you? What can I know? What 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 I do these flies actually work? <laughs> I've never been handed a flyer and thought, you know what, I want to check that out. Brochure, like, here's the thing, if it's like a, a pamphlet you see near the entrance of like some shop or something, like, you do look at that, you do look at that. However, if people go out of their way to, like, I thought someone started printing for a second. Uh, if so, people are go out of your way to hand you these fucking flyers, they're like, here, take one, take one. It makes you want to ignore them, in my opinion. Same, yeah. If they're overly eager, um, I think if it hangs know, on like some kind of info board, I look over it because I'm kind of intrigued. If like I see like pamphlets being just being put in front of a sh store, I'm also intrigued. What's that about? If some cunt decides to go up to me and be like, "Here, take one," I'm gonna ignore him because I don't already don't like interacting with people as is. <laughs> Sounds like uh, certain people who knocks into pe into other doors and ask them to convert. If you know what I mean. Oh, I actually oh, chased those witness. guys off once. Like they were so starting to piss me off, so I chased after him, after him with a knife. <laughs> uh, you might get. They haven't come that. since. <laughs> well, I wouldn't come for sure. They wanna be able to read the police. Like both me and my uh, me both me and my brother. Uh, not, not me and my brother, me and my friend. Uh, some I got uh, found out ways to get them to not come anymore. Uh, from my friend, his dad, his like stepdad actually uh, talked to them, and like he would keep asking extremely redundant questions and not let them leave again until they like, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll give you ten euros. Just let us leave. Honestly, uh, for me, I actually actively seek them out. Because I was wondering, these people, I literally let them in and talk to them, and I tried to argue with them and see if they can convince me. Because uh, I'm, they try to use stuff like science against you, and if you're reli too religious, they'll use stuff like words from your Bible, for example, to sort of turn it against you. The issue is that I know them in and out, so 
uh, for example, the science of it, of stuff. So I managed to beat them in an argument, and ever since they realised they really can't convince me, and just gave up eventually. I guess the thing when I me- when I mentioned the whole like uh, his father the decided to talk to him a lot, to talk to them, and just like keep asking redundant questions until they just decide to leave. Here's the thing. After after they le- left, me and my friend were coming back from the supermarket. So they asked him if they wanted to talk about it. My friend's like, dude, buddy, I got a black cr- black, black upside down cross hanging in my room. I, I don't need to talk. <laughs> that's, that's probably a better method, but I really wanted to see if they could... The best method uh, is still just chasing them the, with a knife. Also, this uh, like this discussion just reminded me of that video. That is still amazing in my opinion. I think that's the worst method, because you might have a chance of getting arrested, and you don't want that. Ah, I didn't actually harm anyone. Yeah, but... Yeah. Is, that, is that not legal for you, carrying weapons? Germany. It's a kitchen knife. Still counted as a weapon. It's it, They were still on our property. Alright, if someone comes at me with a knife, I'd run. I wouldn't think, oh, that's a kitchen knife, you can't hear it harm me. I would <laughs> run. Run like a heck. Here's the thing, I could have grabbed the axe from the garden. Oh, that like, that makes it any better. <laughs> and we have, we actually have two axes. One small, one hand axe and one big one. Yeah. That's okay. We have. See, uh, am I the only one as well, not As well as a sledgehammer and a pickaxe. Am I the only one who's not who's seeing what's wrong here? He's technically saying, uh, he's he's arguing that um, I I brought the small knife. If I really wanted to kill them. I could have brought the the axe and the sledgehammer. <laughs> that's that's the argument he's making right now. And uh, is it? Am I the only one being concerned here? You also have several scythes. Okay. Now maybe now, it's now, time to call the police. <laughs> yeah. Now, now it's time. But all, all the mental institute, because... And I have a dagger you know, in my room. Okay, now now you're just a threat to everyone now alive. Now call the police. And I know where to get guns. Not actual guns, like air pressure guns. But they still they can still kill if you aim well enough. Alright, I... confirmed. Confirmed, Beast is the quiet kid in fast. <laughs> <laughs> I was not quiet, though. I was a loud asshole. Alright, confirmed he's the quiet kid who's loud in class. Just a Germany person. <laughs> quiet kid who's loud in class. I guess the thing, I'm loud if I talk with like one or two people, but the moment it's like a group of like four or five, I just like stand near the edge most of the time, just stay quiet. In summary, Beast is the uh, quiet kid uh, Germany version, which is loud because everyone's loud there. I mean here's the thing, you gotta remember like you gotta remember I'm a bearded like I am a bearded angry German with quite a loud voice. So if I run after you sh- like screaming with a knife, you're gonna be fucking pissing your pants. No, I think the moment you you just go to me and talk in German, I'd be shitting my pants already because German's scary. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> to be honest with you, the only way I can possible, or indeed John for that matter, could do anything scary is to walk up very close to you and ask, What's my name? And then walk away. <laughs> Something funny that actually happened once, I think it was like in 6th or 7th grade. Back then I was like, right. still like, uh, like that was like still where I was in like my depressing phase where like, Mm-hmm. I was like my, my like I my back was basically destroyed, <laughs> like my posture. I see. And I like uh, it would mm. l- actually feel weird for me physically not to scowl. I see. And so like my, one of my friends once brought one of his friends and we decided to talk. And every time I started talking, his friend just like twitched a little bit. And as things kept going on, I was like, hey, you've. What the fuck's wrong with you? Are you, fu- you okay there? Like, he's just like, every time he starts talking, I think he's about to punch me because he looks so angry. <laughs> Alright, you guys, uh, you guys can imagine that. We're, while he's speaking in Bavarian German, which is probably the angriest version of German you can find. <laughs> Bavarian basically is just drunker German. <laughs> he's just shouting. Technically, yeah. Moxie me mauling, huh? 
What's the problem? You have to climb on it. See, my props. You can show. It's already. Oh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'd shit my pants to speak German. Laugh before I before I dig it. That ain't in it. You can't tell if they're angry or not, because apparently that's normal. Uh, by the way, the last one I said, Lav, before I dig Greg, that in it, is uh, run before I get you. Don't trip. Oh, so he was threatening me. <laughs> Alright. And the that in it will always be the fucking funniest thing to me, all because of Asterix and Ob Obelix. Because there's like oh. one movie that they decided to get a Bavarian dub for, and oh, no. and it's like uh, the one for Rome where they have to do like where the like all the trials. And... All the twelve tasks of Asterix. Yes, I've seen that in English dub as well. Yeah, but where in the end, he, he, like he actually gives uh, like Caesar actually gives up his crown and just like moves it to to a house with Cleopatra. Uh, yeah. Basically, you know the you remember the the. Ta you remember the first one where he had to run against an Olympic runner? Oh yeah, against uh, Absbestos, I seem to recall him being called. Yeah, basically like while Asterix is just like sitting and chilling, the moment he r runs off, Asterix just like springs up. Hey, that is it! <laughs> like, <laughs> and that is so fucking funny to me. Like, ah, I hey, have that is it! I have the drawn-up version of, well, basically a stripped version of that film in a book on my shelf right now. Uh, and I also, you know how the like, end the scene when they they get back after he like ran into the tree, like where Oblix like looks at him like, what what the mit the nose and Like did he did, did he did he break with his nose? Yeah. Like he shows the stripped <laughs> version of that movie. I'd like to see it if you, you know, take. I actually have out. it. I actually have it on DVD. Plant some. All right. Like movies that have a Bavarian version will always be the funniest shit to me. Because like, a lot of the times they in like they intentionally change some of the dialogue a little bit. Yeah. That's the best part. Mm -hmm. Anyways, anyway, that's we've we've written on about Asterix and Obelix a bit much. Mm -hmm. Katia waves Shiba over right as she was entering the class. えっと、何かな。それ学生会のチラシでしょ。捨てる前にちょっと見せて。これ、あ、うん、どうぞ。これが学生会のチラシか。ふーん。この時期にこのチラシってことは結構先発待ってるのかね。<笑> <sighs> Morning, Shiba. Ah, Hoshina-kun. I asked if they'd be up for it, and it's looking like a big fat no. Kariya-san and Hoshina-kun, are you Yes, she's one of my few friends. Kariya would have reached out to her either way, I'm sure, so I can't take the credit here. But if, uh, even if I could, it would be way too embarrassing. Now, more importantly, let me introduce one more person to you. Quickly change the subject. Uh, this guy next to Kariya is uh, Kaido Hideaki. He's another friend of mine. What? Come on, you're a classmate, so introduce yourself to her. Kaido Hideaki. Really? You're a guy? I don't, I don't know. Um, I I think... Yeah, yeah, I think she... He does look hot, right? He wants to be a guy? Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> uh, here's the thing, I meant that as a joke. Like, this had nothing to do with his look. I was just trying to say... It, I was just basically trying to ridicule him a bit just for the fuck of it. And you had to pull out that he looks hot. But you have to say... Here's the thing, like, I am comfortable <laughs> enough with my sexuality to be able to, to, able, to, be able to co objectively say he's a hot guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, I mean, if you're going to deny, or as a joke, that he's, he's not a guy, you must say what, what you thought he was, otherwise you might 
people will assume, oh, you think he's a girl. Uh, it was more of a, it was more of one, it was more of the lie, you're not a man, you're a pussy. Oh, okay, makes sense, I suppose. You can't see! Anyone who can't see those uh, big indicators in front of Do I need the, to uh, lend them my glasses? <laughs> Get my the magnifying glass, she is very small. My, my, my right eyelid is actually twitching. In there's disgust. That, there's, there's the fact that she's rather small, yeah, but she's also rather big. <laughs> Being small and big at the same time. She's big where it counts. <laughs> little, little, little big planet, what? Uh, hey, gravity well projectors. <laughs> um, and if I'm no, I'm thinking of Amane people, again. If I'm not mistaken, people like that. If... Um, uh, Uzaki-chan, so anime, or the result of it, John! tells me anything. John! John! There's a yeah. reason! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is a, a rather big reason why I have the draft fanatic role in our server. <laughs> True. Like, I don't just, I'm not just the draft fanatic just for the shits and the gigs. There's a reason why I have that role. Alright, fair, fair. Drafts are nice. One of my, one of my favorite drafts is Izmir still, which is, makes it kind of sad because I don't think she has too much art. Now that does uh, one of my other ones. I don't remember her name right now though. I was also with A, but that doesn't Look. mean much when a lot of the drafts na draft names start with A. Look, if you really want art, I will, I'll send them to you. It's not that hard to find. Hold on. Filter, give me the drafts. Actually, I think I have every draft Zodiac Guardian. Not Zodiac Garden, Guardian, uh. Your Guardian. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? There she is, uh. Almeida, Almeida is her name. I like, also really all like Almeida. And she's actually like seemingly one of the few female characters in the entire fucking on the entire fucking crew that doesn't have a lady boner for uh, for Garan. Or Dejita if you're Dejita. Like she actually Which is the main character. Cool. Like, she actually has someone else in the crew she likes. Which is sus. I mean, it does make every single Dojin she's in basically NTR, so... I didn't need to know that. Well, I mean, I knew it, but I didn't need to... You get my point. Yes. Oh, no, I forget his name. What was his name again? I know that he's... Uh, there, he, there he is, there he is. Uh, Vasaraga, Vasaraga. He's also the... Like, a big, the, the, the draft, the male draft that is in Grand Blue Versus. I actually recently talked to somebody about Grand Blue and they didn't know what Grand Blue is. And thinking that I mistyped, they uh, typed like, I don't know Grand Blue. And I'm like, hold up, that's a big difference. Not knowing Grand Blue is a crime. Like, there's a dip, there's a big difference between Grand Blue and Grand Blue. Grand Blue is probably one of the most hilarious. Um... It is, it is. I had like one uh, oolong tea. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> nine parts vodka, vodka, one parts whiskey. Here you go, here's your oolong tea. That is not oolong tea, it's got the same color. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just give me some water. Here's water. Uh, Why does I'm the water sorry. burn? Uh, I I say that it's a crime, but you, don't, you if you don't know the anime, you can just tell us. By the way, uh, 
Eagle. We're not going to judge you for it. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Shall we press on? Because again, we're getting a bit sidetracked. He doesn't know Grand Blue. <laughs> he doesn't There's know Grand too. Blue. I admit okay. I don't know. Honest to God, that, that, the funniest thing about Grand Blue is it is supposed to be a dive, like a show about diving. But like I've watched the first few episodes, I've I've read the first few chapters in the manga, and I don't think I've gotten to a part where they actually dove. Right. Okay. Like they've just been getting want... shit faced. If I wanted to read anything about diving, I could just consult the diving notes on Scarpa Flow I have opposite me. <laughs> this is what one would call putting foot in mouth. There you go. Kind of gives the blushing Shiba a thumbs up and a huge shit eating grin. And then, out of nowhere, Kadia connects with a low roundhouse kick to the thigh. That's impressive. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> Look, um, it probably didn't hurt. Well, you know. It, it probably hurt, that's why he said thank you. Yeah. I mean, it, it hurt, yeah, but it didn't hurt too much. Mm-hmm. it would be would have been funnier if she kicked his shin and Chuji hit him uh, hit the back of his head. Just like simultaneously, just double you mean, takedown. You mean Ow. Would make it double. <laughs> because she kicks his shin and Shuji hits him over the head. That would make it double. Um, yeah. Well, you know how I see these types of characters, right? So they're basically wingmen, and they're basically designed to take on... Um, the hits. His... No, not, not just the hits. Because the thing is, let's be honest, as a... Uh, well, I, I know you guys don't think that, but for people who play these games, they do think that. However, for the main character to think that, or to say or think that, it would be a bit creepy for the girls. So you got mm -hmm. to you got to have someone else say it that's not the main character, so that you can relate at the same time, be detached from the main character. This, uh, so those are the purposes of the current this type of archetype, where you have a friend who's a pervert, it, a bit of a you deviant, know, like yeah. A, yeah, a bit of a deviant. You have a, a a friend who's good looking, who could potentially be a um. What do you call that? A competitor in the girl uh, in the girls in the games, um, you know, attra uh, attraction. It, he could yeah. potentially be the, the uh, a competitor for the attraction, but that's in the olden day. The olden days, you know, in dating sims, this will uh, in uh, to, in order to prevent that sort of thought from happening for the current visual novels, they sort of made it so that they have a certain feature that makes them a big tunnel for other girls and the main feature for that for example um one let's let's pick uh let's pick a visual novel like um well go on my high spec for example uh, am I uh, monkey like? and uh loves fat loves chubby yeah you get the point no no he doesn't he, love he, chubby he wants an actual mountain of meat <laughs> no, i wouldn't call that meat i would call it fat but okay like that is that, the thing he likes is no longer human. It is a sack of meat. <laughs> it, is well, just, it is just pearl from blade. I mean, no. My point is, you you have to have these uh, friends, right? And they constitute to the thoughts of the player, so that the player can have rel relatability, and at the same time, imp Partial, oh, impartial to the main character, and so they created this sort of. Uh, and then there's in a way, Cap, who just has no sexuality. Yeah, you you can also do that. Point is, one way or another, to make them not seem like a competitor, because you know. I mean, you say that. Nobody but, likes. Uh... Uh, <laughs> I just mentioned Capped. 
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a literary review of characters in VNs. You're all welcome. I'm, if you want John I'm to make sure. a care, make an actual channel where he talks about tropes like that, go ahead and tell him. I mean, I literally when you play enough, you'll notice it. Yeah. Like, there are there are characters that are actually perverts, and those are fun to play. But thank like Yamato. If you're going to like Yamato, yes. But mm -hmm. if you Yamato, force the, the ultimate MC. Yes, but if you force them to meet multiple girls, for example, it's, it's not gonna. Being a pervert doesn't click with every girl, and sometimes it's a big um, no to anyone. So, for example, if you played, um, have you played the the game? Uh, my girlfriend is a my uh, childhood friend is a pres uh, is the president. Was it? I've heard of it. Uh... Mm -hmm. My girlfriend is the president. Yeah, my girlfriend is the president. Fuck. Uh, I, I remember the Japanese now. I'm trying to remember the English name. Anyway. Um, yeah, in that one, the main characters are perfect. And yet, it works. Don't ask mm. if, you didn't, if you haven't played it yet. Have you played it yet? No. Beast? I haven't played it, no. Alright, so, my bad. My point is... Um, I like the but start the spot point? on this. Like, here's the thing: I don't actually have like a mouse, like a mouse a pad. I don't have a mouse pad. What I do have is this p random piece of leather that I have my mouse I... on. It works. Uh, and it there's works. like this Wait, dark works, spot that, 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 like, there's like that dark spot around where I usually have my hand. Mm -hmm. And I occasionally mm -hmm. just like get the random, this, like urge to just let's, like scratch at that because it's like suddenly is like brighter than the rest of the leather oh uh, i see so well, by the way I mean, briefly I... going back sorry go on go on uh, going back go. briefly to uh, Yama yamato and the ultimate mc to be honest with you my my nickname for him is robocock <laughs> <laughs> <Not wrong. laughs> Tell me, I mean, it is, me wrong in, it is wrong in one route. Well, in the well, bad end. Yeah, yeah but um, compared to how things. he was portrayed in the anime, however, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, anyway, in summary, um, that's a trope that they use to sort of do away and at the same time legally place characters that are male, that are not female, and make them seem that like they're not comp competitive. Let's uh, move on. At one, at one point, there's literally just going to be a friend that's actually like attractive, has good characters, but he's just gay, so he's not, he's not a fucking. He's, he's no optimist. Actually, that already exists, but it's okay. Where? You want me to send you the visual novel links in your DMs? No, I'm just, no, no, no need. Let's move on. Yeah, we were. Right. <laughs> yeah, she said it. There. You're a serious scumbag, no. dude. I mean, I'll send it later. Yeah, thank you. But he didn't say it out loud. Yeah, that, that makes the difference. Yeah. Oh, gee, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to punch you in the gut. <laughs> Five finger face punch. Ow, that hurts way more than I imagined! All right. So noted. She knows. <laughs> Don't mess with what on her. Noted. Yeah. Though she is small, she is fierce. Wakana is secretly the most powerful character in this entire game. <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, move on because I don't want to spoil anyone. <laughs> I mean, all that reminds me of that one fucking line from I from Ayaz. Uh, I don't want your pity. I want tits. <laughs> I saw the translation for Riddle Joker and didn't like it that much. Uh, 
Oh yeah, like I said, if oh, you want sorry. John to make like analysis videos on visual novels, go ahead. <laughs> video video essays. Yeah, like but analysis video a... essays on visual novels. Just put it down in the description below. There's literally like, for example, w one line where, uh, let's say during the first scene where uh, the main character is woken up by the by uh, Nanami, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Nanami was all like, um, "Wake up! You'll be late for breakfast." And I don't know how you can be late for breakfast. I don't think, e even if you don't know Japanese, I think you'd notice that, that that's a little bit weird. I take it that yeah. he's going to be late for school, so if he doesn't wake up now, he won't have time to eat breakfast. Yeah, yeah although, yeah, exactly. there was another translation would... I came across for Princess Mononoke, and in the English dub, it, uh, one of the, when, um, <clears throat> whatever the she-wolf is, is explaining things to the main character there, um, she describes uh, Princess Mononoke as um, beautiful, ugly, uh, whatever it is, daughter, when in reality the translation really ought to say hairless, not ugly, because beautiful and ugly at the same time, that doesn't quite work. Yeah, I kind of. Princess Mononoke was a good movie, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. Bloody excellent. Like, I remember when I had a fucking presentation about Princess Mononoke in my oh, Shakespearean yeah, about English. Oh yeah, said about this last week. <laughs> like, that's yeah. still so fucking funny, okay. But today, we're back with the Shakespearean English seminar. Uh, he's just, he's going to pre present about Princess Mononoke. <laughs> you should have presented about the um, raunchy scenes in uh, uh, in in uh, Henry V, or whatever it was. Nah. Because would you would have been allowed to say pistols cock is up, and nobody could have shouted at you. Here's the thing, I would have had to read it for that. Oh. It's very readable, surprisingly. So, here's the official line on it, right? And you can see the Japanese under it. It didn't, it didn't fit what it said in Japanese. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry, I guess this wouldn't... I get Yuge and Storm both saw my it's point. Just, here's the that thing: would be... it's it, 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 we would see the point if you actually put out down the literal translation under it, like the actual translation. Um, she just said you'll be late. She didn't say she'll he he'll be late for uh, breakfast. And then I, I honestly don't. I honestly thought you didn't need to add that particular part you'll be late and then he goes on to say it's summer break so what, what am i going to be late for and then she says uh the following after that it would make sense if you just kept the translation that way instead of adding breakfast yeah the breakfast it, it really is the one out of uh, out of place there but yeah, yeah like i said no, people not... if you want him to do an analysis videos on sorry visual novels put it down in the description below <laughs> fuck it if you're too lazy <laughs> to make an actual channel i can upload them for you i won't i won't monetize them though i'm sorry okay well i'm trying to oh, I'm, I'm all i'm trying to say is i don't i've seen the other translated lines in riddle joker and didn't like it that much a lot of people probably do better but that's just that's just me go on Anyways. Oh, won't worry about it. Any guy who would judge you on breast size alone isn't worth crap. Hey, I like flat. Flat is justice. Hi, ここで質問です。修二君はありとなしだったらどっちの方がいいですか？ Flat. Flat. Well, it's better to have than not have not. Blasphemy. Here's the uh, thing, we all know that you only like flat because you that don't like him too big and you can't find the ideal size. I prefer normal, but the number of waifus with normal breast sizes, rather than, you know, what's a good line? No, whatever. You get the point, they're very rare. More rare than just flat. You you have extreme. So yes, the, so the, extreme. So in other way, uh, in, in other words, you would prefer not flat as well. The problem is, um, I would prefer not flat as well if there was the normal size, but that's rare. So I'm sticking to flat. 
Here's the thing, he just said, is there a, a, a flat or not flat? It's not about IS in, re in regards to any other characters in this game. If I had to choose between flat or not flat, I would pick flat, because uh, there, it's harder to draw someone who's flat to be attractive than it is for someone who's busty. The translation here isn't bad, see? Huh? See, the translation here isn't bad. Isn't bad. I mean, I mean, I mean to say it's good. I don't know what happened with Riddle Joker. Mm -hmm. Come down! Come down! <laughs> oh, that smile gives me hope. Hmm? That, uh, I said that smile gives me hope. And then her route happens, and that ro hope is dashed. <laughs> True, but she does have uh, more scenes in her route, so yeah. I don't mean eight scenes, by the way, I mean normal scenes. Uh -huh. Well, obviously. Huh? I am. He's among friends, so he's going to be close to that. Ah, that makes sense. Never heard anyone call me with fun In the club room, you're basically surrounded by you know... In the club room, you're basically like just sitting there, like waiting for people to arrive because, hey, Turns out, he's among like girls where one of them reads, one of them probably does fashion and occasionally maybe plays Monster Hunter with them and then there's a uh, boy girl girl boy over there. And the other one, uh, the one who reads goes into heat random intervals, so yeah, that's uh... a... Yeah. I wonder if, thinking yeah. about it, how have they like explained it to the others uh, whenever that happened until this point? Kind of um, they didn't. Like, they didn't just like the room. never actually happen when it happened when they uh, were there, because that would be very lucky, considering that they've been uh, they in the same club it. for weeks at this point. They did explain it on um, Mikuru's route because uh, in her route. Oh fuck! Um, did I just? I'm. Um, yeah, no, they didn't. Fuck. Here's uh, the thing: we, your fra your sentence line. was fragmented so badly, I wouldn't be able to tell what you've just tried to spoil. <laughs> Let let's next line, next line, oh. next line, next <laughs> line. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate me too, Ellen. You you're really just gonna turn out to be like a John next line. I don't want that. I kind of want to shut up now. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know your family name, so I'm just going to call you John Johnson. John Next Line Johnson. That's the worst name you could give me. I think I told you my family name before. But okay, let's move on. Oh, yeah. Probably that's forgot wrong. about it, because by God, my memory is shit if you haven't gathered. You know, they it's just, like just... tell me daily for a few weeks until I actually pick it up. That would be creepy if I kept telling you my family name for daily for the next few weeks. <laughs> Uh, okay. By virtue of Stockholm Syndrome, you have remembered his name. Really? No, no that would be creepy. Yeah. You think? Huh. Maybe. I never really goofed around much like this before. Maybe all the chatting so, with Inaba has loosened me up a bit. Huh? So what I really like about uh, Son of a Witch, unlike the other... Um, did I just make a... No, I didn't. I didn't spoil, did I? I? What I really like about... Anyone who doesn't get that spoiler by now is probably... Anyway, oblivious. what I really like... Yeah, oblivious to lots of stuff because it's literally on the name. Um, what I really like about uh, this uh, visual novel is that unlike the other ones, the, the, the development for the main character also counts because he also has a problem. The other ones, it's mainly the girls, right? The other like the main character is probably like one of the characters with the most development. Exactly. So I like that when you when you cause mutual character development with not just the main character but also the girl, and it doesn't feel forced. That's mm -hmm. I really like the the yeah. The pro the biggest problem with the pure love stories like this one is that they take way too long. 
But in this regard, it's also it's a plus because they did it well. And the only yeah. the only one that took way too long is I'm not allowed to say that. Right, let's go on. <laughs> I guess it's a huh? the it's I guess it's the air or the mood around him, the vibe. Kooky. <laughs> Good vibes only. It, it's probably like no. the atmosphere around him. Because I think yeah, like I heard yeah. Kooky in like the in the yeah. context of like read the mood of the room, read the atmosphere. Yeah. That's that's exactly. I don't know the exact translation to that, but that's what I meant to say. Ah, so I got it. My way, it's not so much on a cake. I'll just write it down. This one morose is the word you're looking for, mate. It's this one right here. Oh, no, it's too bacana. And this in these lines, I was thinking, uh, hmm. So like uh, a certain character from Oregairu, main character, Hachimon. To be honest with you, when it Hachimon comes to was the, the... I was just thinking of a Monty Python sketch. Sorry, which, which Monty Python? The uh, fish slopping dance. It's just, um, for anyone who doesn't know, it's just John Cleese and Michael Palin wailing on each other near Teddington Lock with fish. Sounds like Monty Python. Yep. It is. Because, like, uh, it's. The, it the was Messiah the would life. never say that he is the Messiah. It's Messiah, okay, I am the Messiah. The Messiah! <laughs> How do we hook off, oh lord? Because, <laughs> uh. I feel like. My, anyway, as I was saying, the. In the Light Novel, it stated that. He, it's not in the anime it showed that he has these dead eyes but in reality he actually looks rather handsome he, he just appears that way to sort of symbolize something you know the dead eyes sort mm -hmm. of look on hikigaya hachimon in which is i'm sorry have you watched that anime um... i've watched the first and second season i did not like the art style in the second season i preferred the first season's art style more yeah you kind of grow Kind of grows on you. What about you, Eagle? I haven't at all. No, I'm sorry. All right. Um, I, I suppose we move on. There. I legitimately don't mind spoilers at all. But no, then again, I feel I like I feel like uh, I'm like the worst combination here. But okay, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> First, my dad. Now my own friends. Seriously, I just just how messed up that I used to look. After being attacked by John Cleese, obviously. I guess the thing, like, with the whole, like, uh, Monty Python jokes, uh, yeah. especially from uh, The Life of Brian. Oh, yeah. I only know the jokes in German, because that's the movie I watched only in German. So, oh. the following joke won't make a lot of sense. Fuck von, von you there! Sep, sep, that's, uh, uh, what was it? Sep, sep, what? My, my, can't, uh, oh fuck, I can't talk all of a sudden. I had it earlier, but I suddenly like completely just, oh. How would that translate into English? Would it translate into English or? <laughs> it would eventually. I'm, I'm, I'm looking up, up right. the thing. Suicide right. Commando, Suicide Commando, that was it. By the way, I, I need to ask, do you feel like it's taking longer because of me, or...? Oh, don't worry, we're all going off on tangents anyway, so... <laughs> I feel <laughs> like I'm just, <laughs> I'm just making it worse, though. No, you're we're moving, not. Like, a the People's Front of Judea. Minutes. Suicide Squad. Of Judea, yeah. Where they, like, first chase oh, off the Romans and then proceed to stab themselves. Cells right in front of the crucified victims. Uh-huh. Always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> Thank you, Shiva. But anyways, uh, have I really changed that much? Not <laughs> 
シーバさんに気を回すとか学生会のことを気にするとか全然星ならしくない I think what they mean is he, he avoids pain or、yeah. the feeling of emotion. He avoids deeper connections with people to avoid、Because、any kind of. He kind of dislikes his powers. Yeah, yeah. his phys- physical agonies. That's just because、yeah. I joined the OC and. That's why I'm not going to be able to do it. I think so. I see the can't tell. Okay. I see the can't tell. I see the can't tell. Yeah, she's trying to find someone willing to run for president. でもまた何かあったら相談させてもらうよはいいつでもどうぞなんかハーレムじみてるなおい<笑> Being the only guy in a club full of girls is a lot more awkward than you think そういうもんか That is true はたから見てると羨ましいけどな、yeah. I would imagine that I remember the fuck how awkward I felt when I had that when I wasn't like a group project with a group that was all girls before No, I mean, if they're your good friends, you, you'll be you'll more or less fit in, but there's also some things that you constantly think about whether I should say it or I should not say it. And with guys. I used to not get along with girls too much until like. What, like 10th, what, 10th grade or something? I don't know. It's kind of the worst when and they. And even then, it was only、on. like、uh, extremely surface level. Hell, until like. I mean, hell, until like, what, seven, sixth grade? I actually was like scared of girls, kinda. Oh. Because of things that happened in my childhood. Um. It's kind of a. a kind of, it's kind of the worst when they go off on the tangent and. When it's a topic that you really can't join. It's mainly girls. Yeah. About yeah. And that's. You feel like. Like, here's, here's, you know. here's the reason why I actually had mild fear of girls as a,、uh, for a long time. Because in kindergarten, I had a, had a friend, she,、uh, and she was like my best friend, and I, we would hang out a lot. And one day, when, well, at her birthday party, everyone had already gone home because they were finished, but,、uh, but because their parents picked them up. And my mother was already upstairs waiting for me to come, but I was still in the basement, like finishing the project I had, I had been doing. Because they were, we were doing arts and crafts at the birthday party. And I was basically trying to finish it. And the, like, when I finally finished it, she just fin- suddenly just threw me to the ground, pinned me down, and started kissing me. And the thing is, I had a stuffed nose back then. So I couldn't breathe through my nose. So she fucking, like, she kissed me until it, like, legitimately started to hurt. Afterwards, I didn't hang out with her anymore. Ah.、Uh. And then came uh, after the, 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 the year after kindergarten. I didn't f- go immediately go from kindergarten to first grade because of, I have ADHD.、Uh-huh. So I basically went to, to like a different kind of like prepar- preparation kind of school thing for a year where me and one of my friends,、uh, friends were constantly chased. By two, girls, by two girls. One chasing after me and the other chasing after him. Like every break, every fucking break was spent just running away from these two. So yeah. I, have, I had reason to be scared of girls for a long time. The other. The, it's probably like the biggest reason why I'm not anymore was because in sixth grade, we were like four guys in a class full of girls. It was, actually you... started out as six guys, but then one of the guys、mm-hmm. switched to another class, leaving us to be only be five. And then one of them dropped out of school and went to another school instead, one that's like lower on the. Because, like, we have four different kinds of school Mittelschule, uh, 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 Realschule and Gymnasium. We, and like it goes basically up in difficulty. 
with Hauptschul being the easiest and Gymnasium being the hardest, we were all in Gymnasium and he went down to Realschule basically. Oh. So then we were only four guys in a class full of girls. So it was basically like shock therapy. Anyways. I see. So, okay, well, let's not. I was going to ask a few things, but perhaps later. Let's go on. I can feel pretty. They can feel pretty isolating being the only guy there. But, yeah, I know what you feel. カリオさんは離婚をしてくれる人に心当たりないかな残念ながら同じくまあ推薦したい相手ならいるけどえ誰そりゃもちろん綾地さん綾地さんなら安心して任せられる学院をちゃんと引っ張っていってくれそうだし
uh, a new, you know, graduate to even take it. Maybe I should actually read that line. Oh, so that's why you had that flyer. That is true, but you also get a lot of reputation for it. It also probably helped on your resume. Yeah, I mean, a... if you if you're concerned about that, you can always. Then again, there are some people who are people smart and some are academically smart. I, I, I just felt the need to check if I got a response from one of my applications, and I did not. Don't worry, you will. Yeah, I will. A negative one, probably. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on. Don't give up yet. I mean, I did recently get a negative response. That wasn't even for, like, an actual, like... Apprenticeship. That was for an internship that they offered. So it wasn't see. even that much committal. And yet they still were like, mm, let's take someone else. What was that? Uh, I don't know what it would be in English. Hold on. The German title would be Kaufmann Büro Management. Office of. Uh, office Management Clerk, apparently. Hmm. Or System for over. Office Management. Sounds like a Chief of Staff of some description. Another would apparently also be a management assistant. Hmm. Okay. Many stuff like that. Oh, that's bureau communication, not... Okay. That's not management, that's communication. Do you often have your uh, dialogue box be that opaque, or...? I have it a lot. Like, it's not really necessary in this game, I just had it set to that when, uh, you know, Nano decided to turn cat. And then back again. Yes. It's basically so I don't have to censor over the text a lot of the time. But I didn't need to do that mm. anymore. That can wait until the actual routes are on. I but usually keep mine as low as possible because I like to see the bright as much as possible. A fun fact, actually, in what I actually messed up a bit in one of the original Sabre the Witch videos uh, in Nene's route, where I accidentally just like. Oh, did yeah. Where I didn't notice like a slightest bit of nipple just visible near the text and forgot to censor <laughs> it But thank goodness the video quality was bad enough for it to be too pixelated to be recognizable Oh, yes, the Japanese method <laughs> So yeah, I technically have a video up with technically uncensored nipple Advertisement Go to Wild Hunt today. I mean, you already are, but you know, first video. It's still kind of fun that I can just sit here with like three guns potentially because I have a th like <laughs> two revolvers and you know, rifle. They're all toys, but who gives a shit? 
Bang, are, bang. Well, if you go out, they could be... They, people could mistake them for real, so... Yeah. It broke again. Uh, oh, wow. Using it a lot of times, and it would... Uh, who would have thought it would, have, it would break? No. Here's the thing, like, I accidentally broke off the thing that would let me open it, so I have to open it by hand, basically forcing it open. So slowly but surely, the hinge that keeps it closed has been kind of broken, so if I hold it a certain way and shoot, it just opens up. I see. So, it's already... Well, it's it must already have not good. Yeah, it sounds like being in a student council would be a real pain. <laughs> A bit late for that. I mean, like telling everyone that being on the council isn't as hard as it seems. Yeah, I think what you can do is. I think what you can do is capitalize on the benefits of being a student council president. Hey, Nova, what are you doing anyway? Alright. Remember, remember what happened last time? <laughs> I think they look great on you. Gotta say, a few simple hero accessories can go a long way towards improving someone's image. It's on to wonder what Shiba would look like dressed in regular girls' clothing. Anyway, uh, we need to come up with a new plan. じゃあ、学生会は仕事が大変かもしれないけど、入るとこんなメリットがありますよっていうアピールはどうでしょう? No, that's not just a lie at this point. That's just not. Yeah. I mean, talk was loud. Yeah, that would be true, but not here. Oh, yet. okay, okay. Why Why are you allowed to spoil? It's a spoiler that Toko goes out with the main character in Toko's route. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I was. It was a joke as well, you know. It's kind of obvious. Why are you allowed to? Why Here's you? the thing. You gotta joke. remember. I'm stupid. <laughs> that sounds fishy as hell. Besides, considering the student council's responsibilities, you wouldn't want someone who's only in it for the perks. <laughs> It's the thing though, say that it looks good on your resume would probably still work. Yeah, but not a lot of young people would care about such a thing. Sure, the third years would, but you technically have one who's already a third year. What you need to appeal to are the second year and the first year. You know, think about it, I've, I'm probably too old about it for this at this point. <laughs> so you need to think about what, how it will appeal to someone who's from the second year and a third year, uh, a, a second year and a first year, and first year probably will not like will not likely to take it because um, will not be likely to take it because they are overwhelmed from turning from middle school to high school. That can be overwhelming for people, so they don't want to take more on the plate. The only ones who will do that are the highly ambitious first years, which are kind of rare. So your best bet is really second years. If you want the best, uh, the best strategy is to limit the, you know, the shortest amount of time. Go for all the second years with all your people. You have a limited amount of labor. You have a limited amount of time, and you have a limited amount of uh, information. You limit it based on the possibilities. Then you go for second years, and you might find someone. But of course. They go in for everyone. Imagine them just go. Just go up to someone. 
Hello? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I could just imagine just them going up to someone, become president! It's just uh... <laughs> Like someone's like peacefully going down the fucking hallway, just walking past the boys' toilet. Just, like suddenly he gets pulled inside. Inside, Chuji just grabs him by the shoulder. Become president! <laughs> uh, like while fucking, like, like while fucking, <laughs> Kaido just holds like a moldy pudding up to his face. Become president! Uh, Become yeah, president of the fly, motherfucker! That, that, people would run, yeah. <laughs> I don't think right, that let's... will make too big of a difference, honestly. Not that I can come up with a better plan. Maybe we need to change our approach a bit. Abruptly stand up. I'll be back soon. It's not like I have anything to lose by talking to her. Head back to the main bil building and enter class 2C. After looking around a bit. Um, ah, there she is. Kushiji! Yeah, class C. Uh, do you have a moment or something I want to talk to? I want to ask you. So, yeah, could you go somewhere else for that? So you know how in every But you wanna so say you know how in every you know how in every user soft game so far I thought oh, I want to rap for this one, I want to rap for this one. Like for noble uh works, I think you know who I wanted to rap for. Yeah. Uh but yeah. In uh Jack Riot there was uh small girl I really wanted to rap for as well because she blushes and that's the most adorable thing I've ever seen while the one I wanted to rap for for Noble Works is the one who makes dirty jokes who also has Elena's voice actor by the way mm -hmm. so it's a sad it's a sad thing that if if Usersoft ever decides to make like a DLC or anything of the sort where they just make raps for those characters that I absolutely want to see around. Basically, go go I, full go full uh, Minato Soft. Yeah, I would buy it in a heartbeat because they really make good side characters as well. Mm -hmm. So where is this going? But this one, um, I think you know why. I don't yeah, I really want a rat. A rat for her would feel wrong. It would just yes, feel wrong. Exactly. Yeah, it would, it would, it would, it would feel basic. wrong for the character. I mean, we have seen that in uh, that in um, Alcana that it can work, but that's because of a certain history between the other girl and uh, Masaya. But you know, in this case, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Also, I don't wouldn't put it like that in Alcana, since there it's more like admiration. I mean, this is technically also. I'm sorry. My yeah, yeah. Let's continue. Oh, don't worry, I wasn't gonna. Ouch. <laughs> and it's pretty irritating when you were rejected you know, before I'm even able to talk, start talking, yes? Fair, but I can see the chemistry here. Oh, mm -hmm. think about it. Like I like the chemistry is there, but no. Yeah, what, but no. A person I would actually adore a route for though. Mm hmm Did who? No no. Ah, makes sense. Yeah, no, actually I actually want a route for her too. I mean we got to see her um New Sprite. Sprite. Yeah, I was I, I don't know if I was allowed to say that, but uh, yeah. So I say fuck, why would nude sprite be forbidden? I know I'm getting the image of right now at the moment everyone's probably seeing me like a huge pervert, which is well they're not wrong. <laughs> I don't want to be seen as... It's not something you meant to be proud of. I mean at least you had to be forced into playing the lolly kidnapping with Storm. Uh no that those are traumatizing. 
I don't want to do it again. And that was one year ago, and I was I recovered from that. And then they decided. Uh, sure, then they decided La play. you're going to play Lolly Station with us, and you regretted it even more. Why do you even, why do you even, like introduce the them is, to games like that? Why do you even introduce them to games like that when you know they're just gonna be like you? Okay. You're gonna fucking play them with us. Okay, first of all, he kept reminding me on a daily basis. So I thought, you know what? Um, I'm going to get back at you, and I'm going to creep you out. But the exact opposite happened, which I did not expect, because normal people would be creeped out. But then there's Storm. Who would they, yeah, fuck a corpse, storm. probably? Yeah, yeah, but look, he's not into that type of... But anyway... I'll anyway, be honest, you're all, he probably wasn't into it. He was probably just doing it to torture you. Exactly, and I don't know how he can go that far. Tony was the one who was look, actually into it. But think, but think about it. Huge, you know, huge, right? Yeah. The one we consider most crazy second to saw, but huge gave up on it. He yielded, and these two kept on going, particularly Storm. That's how sadistic he was. Mm -hmm. So I didn't expect that level of sadism from him, honestly. So there you go, that'll make you say think twice before joining the Discord. Hey, honestly, you probably shouldn't. Unless you know, There's a reason why I always to... say that they are only to join the Discord at their own risk. Like, I won't be held um, responsible for what kind of absolute madness you fall into. The, let's just say, well, the Discord is technically owned and... Um, you know, maintained by Beast because he's technically it's named after him. He has absolutely no control control over it, and that says a lot. Yep. Anyway, uh, this is about student council. Could you please tell me why you're not participating in the presidential election? You see, I'm actually in the occult club. Oh, my nose is itchy! This is annoying! Gee. Yeah. What? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yesterday Torakushi asked for our help because there were no because there are no candidates for the next election. <laughs> Nah, not quite. She actually asked us to look for another candidate. She said she didn't want to force anyone. The situation isn't looking good. Can't find any new. If we can't find any newcomers, then our only option is to recruit someone we already know will do a good job, like Uchiji. All we need to do is get rid of whatever is preventing her from running. If there's some kind of re there's some kind of reason why you're not running, yeah? So I figured that if we helped solve that problem for you, you could run. Oh, that's a smart move from the main character's side. Even though I've heard that you take your work really seriously? You even stay late a lot, right? Well, I saw you so, talk what... In this sort of uh, scenario, instead of trying to assume that the person has a reason for doing something, uh, for example, you try to find that, uh, and you try to remove the reason for not doing something, you instead, uh, if it that, that method doesn't work. You try to look at another way. What's the reason she's doing something in the first place? This thing. And that's one me one method to do about it. And anyway, you just need to look, think outside the box and look from a new perspective. And you can usually solve the problems. For example, if you're having a hard time defining what something is, try defining what it's not first. That's, that's one way I usually go about things. It really helps to think about it. Ah, this, yes. In this, in this, this is not a sausage. It is not a sword. It is not a blade. It is not It is not a banana. Therefore, it's it needs be to be a, a gun. List. <laughs> well, 
I mean, I don't mean that in a. You get. No, I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware how you meant it. it. I am aware how you mean it. Process of elimination, basically. Yeah, yeah, but what I meant to say is, for example, when you're too, when something's too hard to describe, like an abstract thought. For example, you ask yourself, "What is love?" And it's a bit hard. Baby, don't hurt me. So you. Oh no. So you try to think <laughs> what what is not love. Lo not, what is not love? For example, what is, it's something that is. Well, l let's move on. You get the point. <laughs> Sorry, the moment you said "What is love," I just had to. Yeah. I know, but that is, yeah, like, okay, here's I'm the sorry. thing: people make fun of that joke a lot, but of that song a lot. But I think it's a legitimately good song. It's a good tune. Yeah, I love yeah. it. It's amazing. Yeah, but you motherfucker! Know, with, it, with it being memed a lot at this point, you can't tell if someone who sings it or likes it actually genuinely likes it or plays it for the meme. So yeah, I have a problem. There is more. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm showing the camera all the bottle caps on my table. Are you preparing That's for Fallout? Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much. It's like a single one that's from a different brand. This is why I'm afraid of whatever gets him drunk. I'm not afraid of drunk beasts. I'm afraid of what gets him drunk. Like, there's like a bunch of Paulana bottle caps, and then there's a single flirt singer. Uh. Well, I saw you it, talking with Tukushi about the election. It's, it's, you're really, you looked really torn up about not running. So I figured there must be a reason for that. Who just left? Not <laughs> Why, 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 why do you just like write, write random kanji? Should we just keep going? Uh, his dad probably came in, so probs on. So maybe, maybe just a little longer. So I figure there must be a reason for that. なんか変わったね。以前の星野くんは他の人のことにわざわざ首を突っ込んだりしないタイプだったじゃん。明らかな嘘をつかれても気づかないふりして仕事を変わってたよね。いや、でも、あ、さあ、ハプンレイトリー
just have to wait and see. Nanda, Chua Genka de Mosta no ko? Oh, yeah, having a route for Kana wouldn't be bad either. It would be bad, th in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I I would see an explosion of some sort occurring. Now, you don't know why exactly it's bad yet. I know, I know why it would be bad, but it would it wouldn't be bad in that I'm not saying a route with a main character. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I think you know what I mean, Beast. Yeah. However, that was a bit of a big of a bit big hint there. I have a feeling I might know what that hint is, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut for the benefit of the audience who haven't seen this. All two of them. <laughs> Yeah, as if. Wait, where the heck did you come from? だろうな。他のクラスにそこまで星名の親しい友人がいるとは思わないし、ましてや恋人なんて。論外だ。You know there are stairs right there. There are stairs right there. You may not want to do say something so pushable. You know she she has so much expressions that are that are so unique in the characteristic of everyone knows that it would be nice to see her out of her. She's a massive cheeky little shit, and I love massive cheeky little shits. I would love to see her blush, like out of character Gapmo kind of like. Yes, yes, definitely, Gap yes, Moe. yes, absolutely. <laughs> I fucking agree. What, I'm, like gonna you going, keep, I'm gonna cry if you keep I bullying see, me like this, I'm I like a little baby and point, drive man. you into a corner. She'll laugh, trust me. Tatina Wari Yagaraso Moits Kunjanoi. Ha ha. Toreorimo Sakinoa Karaku Mometer Huikini Mometakara. Ah, really, it wasn't just some. Uh, it, it was just some club business. Kondo Adarakara no Sodanda. Information on our clientele is uh, strictly confidential. Oh, but I guess this is a pretty serious school related matter this time. It's the student council president. Nico Hosanga Inai Kenko. Oh. Do you know anything about it? It would have been funny if he stuck. It would have been fun if he stuck with the uh, uh, information between our clients was strictly confidential. If he rolled with it, and I wanted to see the reaction of, well, it would have been funny. Yeah. Like, like, bitch, I'm the fucking teacher in charge of the OC. That's true. Oh, my knee feels weird! What the fuck?! What do you mean, it feels weird? I don't know, just like... I... What are you doing to yourself? <sighs> it's better. Alright, let's move along. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Well, let me ask this instead. What's her work ethic and attitude been like in the student council? うん、そうだね。私は学生会の担当じゃないけど、旗から見る分には楽しそうに仕事してたはずだ。こっちも次の会長は腰地で決まりだって、高を作ってたのが間違いだった。職員室も大混乱してる。ああ、そうだ。話
Like a majority of the teachers where I would be like, hey, they chill, they cool, they good, we're male. And then there's like, I do remember how of one English teacher where I would like almost, almost always like immediately be done with the assignment she gave us and then the rest of the fucking class, the, the fucking lesson while everyone else was working on their assignments, I would literally just like have different Space discussions out. with her. Hmm. Have you ever fallen in love with a teacher before? No. Never. All right. Kind of a surprise, isn't it? Yeah, it is a big surprise. I expected you to have at least one minor crush before. No, not really for me either. How about you? Me? This teacher's on 2D. No. <laughs> That's... That, you know, I haven't always been... Uh, you know... <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Uh, like in the past I didn't even read this stuff I didn't you say that you literally just only started with this since turning 18 I know the are all uh, am I allowed to talk about that huh talk about the what? erotic stuff yeah the erotic stuff yes but the normal stuff are way before that oh okay makes more sense I guess by the way, you want to you want to tell the people how you actually managed to get into my Discord? <laughs> um, it's not a good story, and I'm still quite embarrassed about it. So I'd rather forget about it from my memory forever. Uh, I meant meant the video that led you here, <laughs> mainly. Um, the thing is, um, I. I play a lot of visual novels and I keep them a lot in my um, devices, like in my computers, sometimes in my tablet. Um, but overall, the biggest problem I had was sometimes I just want to replay a certain scene, or I just want to hear, I just really want to hear the sounds the characters make. So, way before Beast even made his uh, first video, I believe, I've been for videos like this because I thought there must be one genius that has decided this is this is this would sell and made a video of it, about it and uh, for years I've been searching that and then I stumbled upon it randomly when I just started to think hmm noises video I don't know what like some sort of epiphany came at me that day and I found Beast video in which it was just noises it was the greatest thing I've ever heard and I played Religiously every day. So yeah, that's how I because made, that's how I, noises. Yeah, that's how I found my Discord channel. Yeah, I need to hold back right now from continuing the story. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, look, uh, it's it's absolutely great. I play it almost on a day. I I, I don't because... mean that. I mean like when you first actually entered the Discord st server. What happened then? Oh yeah, let's let's move on. Let's move on. Next time. <laughs> tell me later. This is what I mean by putting. Me okay, on the spot. I'll, I'll tell you later. <laughs> I feel like I should. Have, she would have done fine one way or another, even if we had stepped in though. <laughs> Fuck. Whoops. Okay, got it. Is Shima nonchalantly waves and heads back to the faculty room. I tasted none of that sourness I perceived last time. I doubt all her worries are gone. I'm happy to have relieved, uh, re relieved at least a bit of her stress, though. Huh? Why? Well, I wonder if. Huh? Mm. Yeah, I got held up. Archie, there's something I need to talk to you about. What? You know, uh, you know the superpower or the special ability of the main character. While it has uh, helped him in a few scenarios, it really has been a disadvantage to him. Mm -hmm. But I would like to have 
tasted mega. Okay, now that came out wrong. Um, <laughs> I would like to. You you know what? It's it's a spoiler, isn't it? It's a spoiler. It's like a bit... tasted mega. <laughs> let's. You... God, anyone who knows John's in Tavor. John's in Tavor. Stop. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Damn Put it. Like, the drill I down. Know what flavor caused him to? I'm going to spoil off. Ah, ah, Write it in the DMs. <laughs> uh, I just want to know what caused what that. Write it in the DMs so... if it's going to be a spoiler. I don't know if it's a spoiler. What do you think? You know the story. It's a spoiler. I think I know what you're trying to say. But you, you know what I'm trying to say. That's a yes. Uh, you would like sword. to taste that. Yeah. Yeah. But like, that's not so what I confused. meant. Confused. <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna have to live with the embarrassment until we get to Beguru's route. <laughs> yeah. Sadly. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's no right way to put it. There's no right. There's literally no right way to put it. There's gonna be like a bunch of people that are gonna be like, "Ah, yes, he wants to eat her out." Some people that are that, that are like, I don't know, like taste saliva, and then there's gonna be this one weird who's gonna be like, he wants to lick her toes. <laughs> no, I'm not into that. At all. <laughs> <sighs> like. You put yourself in my position. Where would you? How would you say that? I wouldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I would wait until the moment it happens and then say it. I mean, I wouldn't be there. I mean, you could. You probably watch these videos for Bud alone, so you could put yeah, it in the exactly. comments. Oh, I suppose, but I don't really like commenting in your videos. <laughs> what? <laughs> Too embarrassed to leave a record. <laughs> yeah, too embarrassed to leave a record. And then well, you I'm said a, that. I don't like commenting in videos in general. Mm. Anyways, actually, oh, I yeah. already read that line. <laughs> That's what I think is a bad idea. <laughs> uh, it won't take long. That's gonna be a nice voice line to start the next part on, just uh, Kanai and moaning. Indeed. So, yes! <laughs> we didn't have a fucking CG this part. Why? Was it cut shorter because of me, or is it just normally like. Usually uh, I, I just randomly felt like, ah, oh, yes, this is a good stopping point. Why not? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we didn't progress much, and I have myself to blame for that. I'm really sorry for the view. Uh, I apologize to the viewers. The people yeah, saw the was... two hour video that was supposed to be 40 minutes. This one is not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not that bad because there's less people, yes, but also. Don't worry, uh, mate, I'll be... Remember the here. biblically accurate angels. Yes. We did, really didn't get that far at all in that one. I mean... I, I think thinking about it, I really want someone to just, like, draw fan art of just... Fan. Em, of just Emily, just, like, covered in eyes, just saying, like, like, really, like, fucking... Hey, dude, Chad. <laughs> like, just distorted, uh, like, voice... Voice bubble, just like speech bubble, just saying on each on. Fan artists, please get in touch. <laughs> Indeed, get in touch if you want to like be paid to draw a goddamn channel icon for me. Because I need one. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, I could do that, but the problem is I'd need to watch all your videos to get that. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that's the problem. <laughs> Need to go through all these uh, adventures together. I'm not together. saying it's a bad thing. I'm just, it's just that. I mean, here's the um, thing. I say like from my videos because I, I don't know what to request. So what it would be awesome if like one of my viewers was an artist and I could actually just like pay them and be like, okay, so basically just draw me how I appear, and you do know how I appear. You know how I act. So I, you could actually do it anyway if you, if you so desired. Yeah, but uh, 
the thing is, I wouldn't count myself as a viewer. I only yeah. ma- mainly just the voice stuff and obviously Bard. But other than that, nothing really. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you next time. Bye bye! I'll have to find right. what to do with the thumbnail though. <laughs>